but for one number concludes the evening and we want to thank you once more and we want to end with a number I had the good fortune ladies and gentlemen today also I want to announce it's also a big day it's Holocaust Remembrance I don't know how many of you know this, but it is. I am a Holocaust survivor. My parents and I survived the Holocaust, and I came here as a young boy of 17 years old, after it was all over. And I sailed into New York Harbor, past the Statue of Liberty, with a couple of thousand people on the show, on the on board ships standing out there looking at the Statue of Liberty, there wasn't a dry eye on the, on the ship. I've been, then my, a new life started for me, a life of freedom in this wonderful country, and I've been privileged um, to have this um, reflected in my professional work. I was selected, I had the honor to be selected by the city of Miami, city of Miami Beach, in 1776, in, 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 1976. You know, that, it's a funny thing, that, that reminds me of a show. There was, there was an old fellow, he went, he was gonna be an American citizen, he went in front of the judge, he was very nervous, and the judge asked him, when did you come over? <laughs> and he said, he got so nervous, he said, well, he wanted to say 1940, he said 1490. <laughs> so the judge said, you should have waited two years, you could have come with Columbus. <laughs> I had the honor of being selected by the city of Miami and city of Miami Beach to be musical director and arranger of their, their musical extravaganza to celebrate the 200th anniversary of this wonderful country. And uh, it was a show, most probably the biggest show that was ever held in, in Miami. It had a cast of 600 people in it. It was performed at the convention center, and the name of the show was Ray USA. Oh, wow. And it traced the history of, of this country through its music and, and through its songs. I have to write a little bit of music because the Indians didn't have any music, <laughs> published music at least. So I have to write some Indian music and something for the conquistadores, and so on and so In any case, it was a very big success. It started on July the 4th, 1976, and it ended on uh, um, the 31st of the month, and then there was not a seat available to be had at the convention center, and you know that's a big place. The show was performed on a stage as big as a, a football field. Well, from that, uh, from that experience, I put together a little condensation. Um, and I called it my patriotic medley. And we'd like to close with it. We'd like to, um, um, you know, we'd like you to remember that as difficult as things are at the moment, you live in the best country in the world. And we should be all very proud. So if you want to sing along every once in a while, please. But uh, don't interfere with the dialogue. <laughs> okay? Now it's my pleasure to bring out our wonderful singers. Again, let me tell you, where are they? <laughs> Here they are. Bill and Alicia, Marcel, and Marcella, and here is our patriotic method. <clears throat> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
dissolve the bands that bind them. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Earth, Pitchforks and sticks, fighting for their freedom. Father and I went down to camp along with Captain Goodwin. There we saw the men and boys as hard as safety could.